Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 11. We just have this war and one more to go, and then the season is over. And we're going up against an alliance called Blood and Guts. All right, so let's check out the defense. But I want to mention this to you guys. These last two wars are going to be boss rushes because of the way the last war uh, ended. We are just going to boss rush. We are not in the running for Platinum 3. So now we just want to save some items. So a boss rush for us means we're going to complete all of Section uh, 1. Then when it comes to Section 2, we're only going to do one side. And this war, we've chosen to do the left side. That's normally the easier side. All right, so first up, no defender on that first node, uh, Path 3, which is the path I take normally. Uh, we've got Hulkbuster. Not a problem for Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Uh, then we've got Terax. And that one, uh, my Warlock could take that fight if necessary. And Black Widow, uh, Clairvoyant can also take that fight. Now, in the middle, this was interesting. Normally, we see Korg on the Mixmaster. But instead, they've placed Korg here. Power Snack, Outlast, Backup, Recovery. So that was an interesting choice. If I have to fight him, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. Just have to play it slow and be careful of the backup recovery. Now, Nick Fury on Mixmaster, you already have to fight Nick Fury, uh, kill him twice almost. And that's going to already be annoying. I don't know uh, who's going to end up fighting him. I try to avoid Mixmaster, but I could if I need to. Uh, and then we've got Domino. And that's an interesting uh, choice there for Domino. Now, my Nick Fury can take that fight. Warlock is usually a great option for fighting Dominoes. So either one of those uh, could do that fight. All right. And then for Section 2, Path 3 here, we've got Darkhawk. You just want to avoid knocking him down. Uh, and that should be a straightforward fight. And then you have Thing. And anytime I see Thing, I'm going to fight him with Nick Fury. But I remember fighting Thing on this node before, and it's actually a pretty uh, challenging uh, placement for Thing because with the explosive personality, you don't want to hit into his block. But if you find yourself in a situation where he doesn't have enough power for a special one or a special two, really just uh, if he doesn't have enough power for a special one, then you normally want to bait out or, or hit into his block uh, to give him power to get the special one if he's already at 15 rock charges. So that can be a sticky situation, but I will still use Nick Fury uh, because it may come down to me having to take a few hits in order to uh, get that down. But because we're doing a boss rush, I may not end up fighting uh, these guys here. So we'll see how that goes. We've got uh, Iron Man Infinity War, and uh, I can take that fight with Warlock, I think, and Black Widow Clairvoyant, I would want to give her a power boost. But since we're doing boss rushes, no boosting. Um, other than a little 15% boost, I'll still do that one. All right, and then we've got these minis here. And normally, I am the one that goes up the left side. Uh, I don't have anyone, you know, in particular that's great for fighting sentinel on that node but black widow clairvoyant can do it that's a rage node there uh nick fury i do that fight and uh, i can do it with uh black widow clairvoyant uh, i can also do it with nick fury and then finally we've got dragon man 
and his natural power gain plus the power gain of that node makes that really annoying. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it, stay in Curse of Plague and just cycle special twos. And it may be a, a straightforward fight, but it could easily go bad. You really want somebody that has strong power control uh, to tackle that node and that particular defender. All right, and down to the right, Sasquatch, Mojo, uh, Modok. Normally I don't do those, but Warlock can take that Sasquatch, but we have people with a uh, Human Torch ranked up that usually do that fight. Same thing with that Mojo, Human Torch, uh, Modok. That's not a really difficult fight, but generally you wanna fight him with someone that can shut down that auto block, someone with true strike, perhaps, or uh, parry heavy, but this has a, let's see here. Yeah, it has limber. So parrying will eventually fail you. All right, so let's get to the fighting. Let's get and use some of our, um, energy up and we'll be right back all right so we're going in with the standard team warlock black widow clairvoyant and nick fury and as i said earlier we're just doing a boss rush so there's no telling what fights i'm going to actually have to do here all right so first node no one's there we uh ran out of energy because we were uh, the first one's over there. Uh, so we had to wait a little while. Come back when I had energy once again. And we continue on our merry way. Uh, we went ahead and tackled this Hulkbuster. And he's not a difficult fight. Uh, I've gotten caught by him, his rework, mainly because I forgot that he does... He, <laughs> does he does armor breaks. And uh, so Ghost, not a great option for him anymore. Uh, she used to be able to wreck him easily. So I decided to go in with Nick Fury. Don't care about any armor ups or anything like that because that bleed is gonna get him regardless. So Nick Fury is a great counter uh, for this fight. There are others. Black Widow Clairvoyant could have done this fight also. One of the things that you want to be careful of, if they have the Protect Global, you don't want to uh, fight him with anyone that does a lot of damage in single hits because it'll trigger that protection. But I knew Nick Fury wouldn't trigger the protection. The bleeds would cut through all those armors if I didn't play as aggressively as I like to play. So down goes Hulkbuster. Now we've got this Terax. Now... Normally, I'd be a little bit more wary of fighting Terax, but this is, you know, second to last war. Doesn't matter. We're not going for the win. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Pretty sure Black Widow Clairvoyant can handle this. No problem. All right. So immediately we nullified that pesky armor. And, uh, yep, we're still nullifying some good things here. Uh, I'm very wary of his field of course but then i see i'm like oh he's almost dead and he's down okay didn't have to worry about that uh field of his at all and i'm pretty sure he was about to fire it off but i looked up and was like oh black widow put a hurting on him she spanked him okay so we move on and by the way i love the fact that there's no links over there very nice so i came over here and normally Korg would be down by the time I got here, but um, I think they messed up a little bit. And uh, so I'm like, hmm, what is it with this Korg? Hey, this is not the really um, bad Korg like on Mixmaster. So I'm like, I can finish this guy off. So here we go. I'm not having to do anything special, just fight like normal. Go in there, bait out his heavies, shattered his uh, field. Thank you, Dorky Diggity Dave for that uh, 
evade because I could not evade his special one. I couldn't get the timing down until I watched one of Dorky Diggity Dave's videos. From that video on, I've been able to evade uh, his special one. All right, so now this one is the Mix Master node, and it's a Nick Fury. And I said, yeah, no thank you. Did not want to fight him. I could have, but even though this is, you know, basically a freebie, I didn't feel like fighting that fight. So I waited, and they cleared that Nick Fury. Remember, we're still doing a boss rush. All right, so now I move on to section two, and look at that. Someone took path three. So because we're doing a boss rush, I went followed right after them um, instead of taking one of the other two paths, only because we're doing a boss rush. Now here, they started and they uh, cleared path uh, the right path, so all that was left was the left path uh, for the minis. So I'm like, okay. And even though we're not going for the win, that doesn't mean I don't like to win my fights. And uh, I'm still going to boost because I get a lot of those boosts anyway. All right. So he's got nothing uh, too crazy. Uh, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to handle uh, this fight. I was a little worried because it's Sentinel. So let me explain why Sentinel, you have to be really careful here. So he's on a rage node. If you hit him too hard, not only will he gain those furies, but he will also gain the protections. And you'll have to evade, I mean, not evade, you'll have to intercept him in order to um, get rid of them. At the same time, you also want to be careful and manage his uh, analysis charges. Okay? And for some reason, I kept getting caught by that. I don't know why. Okay? And so I'm just like, all right, you know what? Whatever. Um, anywhere else, I don't get caught by it. In fact, I can even dash back, do a light attack, dash again to avoid his uh, analysis charge. But here in Alliance War, suddenly I can't do it. So you see, I'm just dashing and blocking, not even playing, doing medium light mediums because that will slow down the analysis charges. You see, he's not, he's gaining them when I'm evading like that, which is annoying, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm just going in medium light mediums, uh, baiting out his specials and nullifying those uh, furies because I'm triggering those. My Black Widow is doing, you know, some good damage. And uh, it's nice because she can nullify the fury so I don't have to worry about him going pure unblockable, which would be a bad day. It'd be a really bad day. All right, so... He's now his analysis are complete. So he is a beast right now. Okay, but I'm in incinerate um, aura, the curse of hellfire. So even though I blocked that, did not put the, uh, you know, di didn't put any incinerates on me, but I evaded that one. All right, and see, here we go. I wanted to get a little uh, health back from the health they stole from my Black Widow. So give me back what you stole. All right. I'm looking at the time and I'm like, okay, we got plenty of time. Okay. He's less than half health. We're good. Um, I cycled so that I could get some uh, health. Okay. Um, I evaded that last uh, bit so that I don't get the uh, incinerates on me. Um, I think that's the one that does the incinerates. Um, I know the special two does. So I'm trying my best to bait out his special ones and he's firing heavy attacks he don't seem to want to fire his special off look at look at this guys finally so for those of you who say be patient that was a lot of patience there guys all right and see here i am just getting a little bit and i'm like i didn't get a whole lot of health back but i did get some health back all right and now i don't have to worry about doing medium light medium attacks because it doesn't matter anymore he's at full analysis charges so we can just do full five hit combos if we want to. He is right now super tanky. And uh, so we can just keep doing it. You see, I, I switched to Curse of uh, Plague and now Curse of Hellfire. 
and then I got caught again. But I'm in Hellfire, so I don't get any incinerates on me. And I switched there because this is her damage mode, and I wanted to get this guy down. I, I gave up trying to get health back. I could see the way the wind was blowing, and now I just wanted to get him down um, without any more shenanigans. And so we got him down, and we did not die. Is what it is. All right, so uh, full attack bonus was achieved. And uh, it also gave me a little bit of um, practice in fighting Sentinel on that node. Um, next up, we've got Nick Fury. We've got Hurt Locker, so I don't want to fire the same special twice. Fair enough. He's got Enhanced Special 1, which is not a big deal. Uh, except when he has high tactical charges, he's unblockable, and that's so annoying. So what I did was I went in with Nick Fury as well. And I don't know, but it seemed to have triggered that bug. You'll notice this is the real Nick Fury. So I don't know what happened, but the real Nick Fury popped out. I don't know if it's because I, I chose Nick Fury to fight him or what but this has happened to me before and i don't remember if i was uh fighting with nick fury the last time all right but i'll take it it just makes it a little bit uh easier and you see how much i had to eat uh on that one very annoying i got the intercept there fire off that special two boom and he's down so that fight went a lot faster than uh it would have normally so happy that uh he didn't have his uh, life model decoy active. So now we've come to the final fight, final mini on my path here. And I thought about who I was going to bring in for this Dragon Man. He gets a power gain himself. And he's on a node that does some power gain. So ideally for this node, generally you want someone that can power control. Okay, now Warlock can power control, but it is a little dicey. So you see here, I'm parrying and I want to get the infections up. Once I have the infection up, now I'm going in. You see he's got power and he's gaining this power. So I want to keep the infections up, but I also want to bait out his specials. Okay, so you see here, you know, I got a lot of uh, parries in there. He didn't want to throw his special, so I hit him a few times, you know, smacked him around a bit, and he's, there we go. Finally, he throws his special, and I'm blocking him, okay, which, uh, if I remember correctly, gives him a little bit of power, but that's okay, all right? He's back again at a special two, and you can see his health. His health has not gone down all that much, okay? So I'm like, all right, um, we'll just have to get this special three here which uh will put a power drain on him but he then he fires his special off now that i have a special three ready in case he gets to his special three and just look at this he's almost at a special three again after firing that off so i'm just going ham and this by the way guys if you watch my last war video against sorcerer supreme this is what i was trying to do push him to a special three then fire my special three off and watch his power immediately it's down he cannot get a special three okay by the time he gets up he's already not at a special three and look at the power drained it a lot okay so that's what i was trying to do the last time against sorcerer supreme when i got snuck with that unblockable had i done what i was planning i might have been able to pull that fight off all right so we're still going and he's now firing his specials off he probably didn't like the fact that i drained his power like that all right see look at that power we got fortunate right there he was going to a special three guys and i was going to be pretty much wrecked all right not a great uh counter but um we are, at this point we push him to a special three again and we should get him down here uh, I believe this guy was running suicides also, which made things uh, a little bit easier on me. All right. Nope. 1%. Yeah, yeah. There's no 1% bug. 
Uh, but anyway, he's down. Okay, so that was it for my fighting. Uh, no boss fighting uh, for this war. I haven't fought a boss in a while, actually. Uh, we've got pretty good guys in there that bring in the right counters for these bosses. And they take these bosses down, usually with a one shot. All right. So we'll be back after a brief intermission and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And of course, we lost the war. We we're just doing a boss rush and it makes no difference on our final standing. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and about the fighting. Take care and you all have a blessed day.